You know, even though this rendition of Toad Town's theme is really hectic and upbeat feeling, I really like it for some reason. I don't know, it really adds to the atmosphere. <laughs> anyway, hey guys, Miss St. Ella here, and welcome back to another episode of... Confusing This Toad. I didn't actually want to talk to you, but oh well. No, shut up! Stop it! <laughs> anyway, no, this is Paper Mario, and in this episode, we're going to be finishing up what we can do for Cupcoot. So, oh, onward to the old withered lizard himself. Even though he's not really a lizard, he's a turtle, but they're, 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 they're reptiles! He's a reptile, a lizard is a reptile, that's basically the same thing, right? Anyway, so he gets his second autograph. Which looks much nicer than Luigi's autograph. Jumping Jungle Fuzzies, you're peerless, Mario. My word, good gracious. Oh, oh my, what beautiful handwriting. Be still, my heart. Uh, that is, this will be the heart of my collection. You're a stand-up guy for doing an old Koopa so many favors. This time I'll give you this special gift. What is it? What is it? What is it? Don't tell anybody, though. I've got a reputation to keep to keep. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. Three star pieces! Not sure if worth it or not. Anyway, that's it for that. Uh, we do have a couple more that we can currently do for him. Uh, I'm not quite as mobile as I was in my salad days, and as a result, I feel like I'm losing touch with the outside world. A newspaper would be the best way to, for me to catch up. No? Nope. Would you mind reading the Toad Town news for me? You could tell me the news then. Your eyes aren't so good, see? Don't spare don't spare the juicy gossip either. I'm all ears. Okay, well, I think I misread something in there, but oh well. Uh, so yes, he wants to hear the news and the juicy gossip. I'm going to tell you guys straight up right now that this particular favor confused the heck out of me. I hated this fa this favor with a burning, fiery passion because I, yeah, I knew that to read the news, I had to talk to this billboard here, but I didn't know about the gossip on the back. That was, that was something that I, I remember getting really angry with. Shy Guy Invasion, blah, 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 the, the, the thefts are too numerous to name here, but suffice it to say, residents are urged to guard their possessions. It's still unclear where the Shy Guys are hiding out. We'll post news as it breaks. And then the backside. How many Koopa Troopas have been beaten up by Mario? It's shameful, an anonymous Koopa. <laughs> Shameful indeed. All right, he's I'm not sure if he's gonna be happy to hear that bit of gossip or not, but we'll try so back to Koopa Koop we go Here's your stinky gossip you old man Creeping crazy daisies. You're a pure class Mario. Ah, so that's what's going on in the world I'm not sure I believe all those wild tales, but I suppose if you say so it's nice to catch up on the current lingo I've had a hard time understanding youngsters lately now. I'm hip. No. <laughs> Why don't you take this for helping me? Oh, you don't have to be so polite. And then... Yes. How very kind of you. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but I've been ailing a little bit lately. I'd like to get a life shroom. You know, to have on hand just in case of an emergency. Like if he kills over with a heart attack or something. I must have one. I must. Please. Please find one for me. You should be able to find one at select shops. Please hurry if I'm not I'm not feeling well at all. You promise to return? <laughs> the temptation to just be like, nah, nah man, I'm gone. Actually, do I have my life shroom? Oh, I do have it on me. Okay, so we do we can do this. This is why I wanted to pick up a second life shroom. We technically had that one that we could have given him, but I wanted to keep one on me for reasons. <laughs> oh, buy the musty shroom. You're a peach. No, I'm a Mario. I feel 10 times better and 20 years 20 years younger. Maybe I'll go jog after my nap. Here, take this as thanks. One coin. Hey, by the way, have you been going to the playroom? I found this old thing since the last time I saw you. Have a look. A gold credit! Oh, wow! They gave this to me at the playroom since I was such a frequent visitor. You can have it now. Good luck. Make money. Hee hee hee. Wow, I thought I had to do one more for that one. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> 
Okay, so his next one I don't think we can actually do right now. Uh, sudden crazy craving for one of tasty, scrumptious, scrumptious nutty cakes. Yeah, the secret ingredient ingredient is the goom nut, which grows on certain trees. Memory serves, which it doesn't always. You can find them near someone's house. Yeah, try Goomba's house because he's a Goomba. Anyway, yeah, we can't do that right now because, well, Tasty's frying pan is kind of gone, so we're gonna have to put that off, unfortunately. Uh, I'm gonna swing by the shop and check my. Yeah, Chuck Quizmo! Hello, sir! Kawiz! It's everyone's favorite quiz master, Chuck Quizmo! Wanna try the quiz? Yes, I do, and diddly do! Then let's go to the question. Okay, question. What we'll color are Luigi's pants? I like how they put green on there. I feel like that's a really jerkish, like, trick question for kids. But of course they're blue. Congratulations! Here's your star piece. Yeah, thanks, Chuck. Eight questions so far. Yeah, I did it. I answered the thing. We done did good. All right, uh, I'm gonna check my thing like I said I was going to. Okay, we do have a goom nut. That's pretty much all I wanted to check. So we're good. We are goom good. Anyway, the reason why I'm coming out here is, well, you might have already guessed it. We have a couple of star pieces out here to get now. One of which is somewhere here. Here it is. Come on, get it. Yeah, star piece. We got the star piece. And the next one I think is over by Cooper Bros Fortress. I'm wanting to say that's where it is. Please don't interrupt me. Oh, oh, oh! Wait, no! Okay, okay, I got it, I got it! Wow, uh, I was way off with going to Koopa Fortress. <laughs> well, I guess maybe not terribly off, but I probably walked by it like five times. Anyway, so we got it! Those are the only ones in, the, in this general area, so I think now we're safe to head back to... Toad now, no! No, Go Goomba, Goomba Village, because we're done with um, Koopa Koop for now. Right. Okay, so let's go into this pipe. And let's see. Right, we need to talk to Goomba, too. So, Paracarry, let's see you work your magic with this one. He's doing fine. Hey, by the way, I named the lad. <gasps> what? You did? I'm so flattered right now. I always wanted my son to grow up to be strong like you. He went a little overboard and now he's way too energetic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Guys, my heart. Be still, my heart. Goombario, I love you. And I love your family because they're so precious. Anyway, I think it's actually Goom Goompa that we have to deliver it to, not Goompapa. Uh, is Goombario pulling his weight? Oh, yes, he is. The day you beat Bowser will be a fine time. Yes, indeedy. You're a Goompa, correct? Name's Paracamp. <laughs> Here you go. Take the letter. Okie doke. Now, what could this be? Eh? Koopa Koot? Eh, I have a bad feeling about this, I'll, so I'll read it later. <laughs> it's probably the old Koot's usual backstabbing gossip. He really needs to get out more. Oh, why would he do that when he has me to go out for him? I know you're pretty busy, so thanks for delivering this. Why don't you take this as a token of thanks? I want to say that's better than Koopa Koot ever treated us, but he kind of just gave us gold credit and three star pieces, so... I can't say it. I can't say that. I can't say that. That would be really mean. Anyway, so, uh, the next place that we want to swing by briefly, not here yet. I mean, I guess we could go there, but I wanted to go here first. Because somewhere in here where the game started is... Wow, it's right on the tile that Mario landed on. I feel like it got attached to Mario's... Mario's, um clothes or something as he was falling like a piece of star got stuck on his overalls that's my head cannon that's how that that star piece came to be anyway with that we have to go down here to 
Koopa Jr.'s playground. I love Speedy Spin so much. It's the best. Oh, let's see. Let's see. I know it's around here somewhere. Up oh, here it is. Yeah. Awesome. Star piece away. Okay, I think that's it for this vicinity, but there is one by the bridge of what's his face? The Goomba King. But I think you can reach it faster from Toad Town. So I think I'll swing by there first. Yep. Here we go. Right outside the west exit. Not bad. So this is the last of the Goomba areas that have hidden panels. Actually, I think that's it. I think we got all of the hidden panels that we have to backtrack for. So that's nice. We don't have to worry about it for now. Take take that with a grain of salt, though. There might have been, like, one or two that I might have forgotten. But I think I got them all. I think so. I might have. What are you doing outside? A shy guy took over my shop, my precious shop. Please, Mr. Mario, get the shy guy out of my... Aww. How dare he? Well, guess what? I'll do just that, sir. Oh, can you? Oh, we can talk to him. Welcome to Shy Guy Shop. Too bad I'm not gonna sell anything to you, Mario. Wow, he actually won't. How about you get lost with a concussion? Oh no, poor me. And off he goes. Mario, way to show that little hooligan a thing or two. Hooray, thank you so much. I'm still giving great deals at rock bottom prices, so don't be a stranger around here. You know, you could, like, give me a mushroom or something. He literally gives you nothing. He should give you a free pick of something in his shop. He should. This should be a thing, and I'm offended, and I wish that shy guy stayed in control of your shop. Because at least he was honest about not wanting me to have things. Ugh. I'm sad. <laughs> Alright, uh, silliness aside, I'm trying to think. I think the only things that we have to do is check the sewers and check out the gold play credit thing that we got. So, down into the depths we go, and yes, I did forget something down here a while back. It was my bad. I totally, totally did not even think about it, so... I'm trying to remember exactly where it is. It's in this elevator. Nope, not this one. Okay, so it's another one. It's up one of these elevators, and I if you stay on it, then you'll reach like a a special area, I guess you could say. Wanting to say. Well, this certainly isn't it! You know what? Since we're here, let's do a mystery. What does this give us? Um. What? Excuse me? Excuse me? Are you seriously just gonna bop me on the head and call it a day? Really? For real? Wow, uh, I'm actually in a really bad spot right now. Uh. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I really shouldn't have done that. Yeah! Did it. Okay. Can't miss that one. Not bad. Okay, let's try this again. Please let us not just have a rock fall on our heads. Great first use of that, Masse. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Why not? I mean, I guess I needed... I needed... Wait. Oh, crap. I didn't equip quick change. That that would have been lovely. I would have loved that. Finally. Goodness. Wow. I fail. Why am I the worst? We got a sleepy sheep. That's not bad, I suppose. Now, if I may peacefully leave this room, thanks... All right, so I still need to find the stupid elevator that I didn't go up before. Ah, it's this one. It's this one. It has to be this one. Let's see. All the way up. Yep. Yep, this is what I missed. I missed this really hard. Wait, wait. Not down the hole. Okay, yes, down the hole. 
Drop down here. Oh, what? I gotta level up from that fight. Are you for real? Wow, that's great. All right, uh, I'm gonna level up BP because we can always do with more BP and I got some nice badges recently. But first things first, this is overdue. I am so sorry, Paracarry. I love you, don't get me wrong. It's just in battle, you know. <laughs> yes, let's go ahead and upgrade him. He'll get airlift, which is eh, kind of okay, I guess. Paracarry is upgraded to super rank. So he does one more damage and he gets airlift. So very excited about that. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm going to go into my badges and organize them. Okay, this is what my badges are looking like right now. Um, Power Smash I'm keeping on because we haven't actually shown it yet. Multi-bounce, kind of for the same reason, but I'm having it on for specific, specific enemies soon. And quick change because obvious, power plus because obvious, everything else because obvious. So, we're good. We're good. We're, we're getting to see a couple of new badges soon. Very, very soon. Uh, okay, since we're here, I'm going to switch to Goombario. Because, wait, no! You know what? You know what? He hurt me. Let's demonstrate Power Smash on this guy. Yes! Seven damage. Oh, wait, I have Quick Change on now. I can do this. I, I can, I can, I can. Sure, let's bomb him. Let's bomb him. With everything we have! Crap, he still has one HP. I, I, I miscounted. Crap, I, mi I mistimed. Oh well, I can still just slam him down. No biggie. Alright, two experience! Hooray! No, please don't. Please don't, I've had enough. Masay has had many things done in this episode, and it's it's been frustrating. I've been I've been screwing up a lot. I I acknowledge this, but at least I am trying. Okay, now the thing that I wanted to show is this. Okay, now I want to have Goombario out. Now that there's no spiked enemies, take out this panel, and we'll go through the floor to a new little area. We can't do anything with this yet, but if we go to the left, we have new enemies, ahoy! Yes, first strike. Which they are Koopas of a certain sort. Let's go ahead and tattle, no, tattle him. This is a dark Koopa. Dark Koopas are Koopa Troopas who live in the Toad Town tunnels. They're known for causing dizziness. Which is a headache, max HP 8, attack power 3, defense power 2. Be extra careful when you see them grin because that means they're getting ready to do their dizzy attack. Well, it looks like they're always grinning. Uh, their defense power is 0 when they're turned up. Okay. So yes, that is why I wanted Goombario, not only for the tattle, but also because he can jump. And I can jump too. Yeah, look at that. Unfortunately, these guys get up after one hit, so... It'll take some patience to take them out. Not one hit, uh, after one turn. We can only kind of chip them down. Okay, one more to do it. Yes! And then Goombario. These guys give a lot of experience, actually. I guess we're meant to fight them at this point in the game, though, so it's not a terribly huge surprise, but... It's still nice. Now, the reason why I wanted to grab multi-bounce is not so I can touch his foot. It's because they actually grow in numbers, and at this point, we wouldn't be able to flip them all at once. So, I'm going to let multi-bounce do that for me, except I fail. Except I fail, I really just want to go down the line. But at least I can take this guy out. Okay, please, can I do that timing a little bit better? Slightly better. No, that's not what I call better. I call that worse. Okay, theoretically, it's a good idea if you can do the stupid timing. Wait, what? Seriously? Oh, come the frick on! 
Uh, hi guys. <laughs> want want to dance? Want to dance? Here, how about some dancing on your back? It's called break dancing because I'm gonna break your face. Really? Is that really necessary, guys? Yeah, yeah. I I, I should say so. Too bad Goombario doesn't have multi mounts. That would be really great. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that. I'm just like perpetually frozen in time. This is really ridiculous. You can stop that now! Holy crap! Ha! How obnoxious! This is ridiculously obnoxious. Are you guys seeing this? Thank you for failing! Goodness! Well, now it's just a normal fight. Now I just have to alternate my jumps. Or not! I forgot! This is really annoying. That this this is such an obnoxious fight. Please stay down. Stay down and die. Lay down and accept your death. Goodness. Wow. Uh that was pathetic. That was really bad. That was so bad. And we have one more to deal with. Wait, I need to heal. Um, sure, I can make more later. Yeah, look at that HP. First strike. That was possibly the most aggravating battle I have ever done because it was really annoying and I hated it and I guess theoretically I could have brought out brought out um bow and done out of sight to wait out that stupid dizzy attack but oh well what have you anyway we now have the shortcut to Boo's mansion which is pretty nice we no longer have to worry about um going through the forever forest uh, what's in here? Is there anything in here? Yes, there is something in here. I know there is. I think... There's something... There is a way that we can do this. Ah, there's one! There's one, so... Yes. And here, yes! That makes a bridge to go across. Go for another super block! But we have no member that we can upgrade now, which is unfortunate. So that one we can't do anything with for a little while, but eventually we'll use it. At least we know it's there and we can we can take advantage of it at a later point. But for now, it's back to Toad Town with us because there's nothing left for us here that we can really do. We'll have to wait for more upgrades and things of that nature. Anyway, as one last thing that I want to check out before we end the episode, I think we should see what this gold credit gets us. Come down here, talk to him. Hello, Mario. Welcome to the playroom. Cool, you have a gold credit. In that case, I'll make a pipe appear that will lead down to the smash attack floor. Yeah! Check that out! Check that out! Check out this pipe! No, 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 no. Don't talk to me. Hey. Down into the depths. Hello, Mario. This is the floor for Smash Attack. Let me explain the rules. A plane? Explain the rules to you. When the game starts, blocks will appear along the ground. When you hit a block, something will come out of it. You'll clear the game if you get ten of these peach panels before time runs out. If you hit a block where there is a fuzzy or bob on the siding, it'll slow you down a bit. The time limit is thirty seconds. You'll need ten coins to play. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Yeah, I saw, I saw one somewhere. Here's one. Yes. So yeah, they'll come out periodically. Yes. Anything else? 
Oh, there's one. No, wait. Wait, please don't. No. Five more. One per second. Come on, let's do this. And I got exploded. Okay, we're done. Well, I suck at this game, by the way. I'm not good at it. We'll try one more time, just for the funsies. I would like to win once. Okay, let's see. Yes. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, what was this? Oh, no, 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 please. Okay, good. 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 Okay. I think I got this. Maybe? Yes! Game over! Game cleared! The remaining time is 11.3, so well, you get... What?! Wow! Um... Wow! That's a lot of coins! I think I'm gonna take my winnings and go! No, let's not play. I'm very happy. This is a good way to end an episode. I made money. <laughs> my luck was actually good for a change. For once in my life of unluckiness. Anyway, so with that, we have taken care of pretty much everything we can do right now in the way of side things. There is a trade little mini quest that we could do similar to the time quest for to get the item over here from Koopa Village. It was a long time ago, but there is a second one that we can do, but it requires cooking. So, yeah, we can't we can't do that right now. So, next time we'll be heading off to hopefully find Shy Guys Toy Box. I will see you guys then. Messina out.